So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. And really all that means is I'm going to really utilize this diagram to the best of my ability because there's a ton of information listed here. Um, let's read the question. It says, in the figure shown, all angles formed by adjacent sides are right angles. So that's good to know. And we're told that this figure is not drawn to scale, which is good to know. And we're also asked for the perimeter of the figure. So the perimeter of the figure is just the sum of all of the side lengths. So hopefully you know that. I'm going to just spot the one the side lengths I don't have. So I'm going to call this side A. I don't have that. I'm going to call this B. Uh, this is C. And this is D. Although I do see that I actually know what D is, right? Because this is... It's the same as that. So this is also 2.5. So I'll just label that as 2.5. So I just have A, B, and C missing. So to start off with, I'm going to jump to my calculator right away and just add up the side lengths that I do have to see if that is at all helpful. So I have 5 plus 9 plus 2 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2.5 plus, oh, don't have that one, so plus 2.5 there, plus 8, plus 2.5 here. And when I do that, I get 40.5. So that means A is gone, B is gone, because we know it has to be bigger than 40.5. So with that 40.5, I only have 42 left and 46 left. So the question is, do I think that the length of A plus the length of B plus the length of C is all equal to only 1.5, right? Because 1.5, right, adding 1.5 here would get me to 42, which is answer choice C. I would say that, you know, side A itself is bigger than 1.5, right? If this is 7, then this much of that has to be more than 1.5. So for that reason alone, C is gone for me, and choice D must be the right answer, and I'd be moving forward. Now, you could also, you know, really play around with this diagram and figure out specifically what these values are, right? Again, we knew this is 2.5. But for instance, if this is 2.5 here, then that means that, you know, that means that this is 2.5. And since this whole length is 5, that means this side is also 2.5, which would mean that this down here is also 2.5 because that corresponds to that length. And if this whole thing is 7, right, if from here to here is 7, then and this is 2.5, that means this is 4.5, which then means that this is 4.5, which, you know, hits my hunch that this is definitely more than 1.5, so I'm even more confident that D is the right answer. And lastly, I would say, hey, if this whole thing is 9, but this portion of it is 8, and I'm still missing here and here, and I just have one more, right, one unit in order to make those two things equivalent, then I'm going to say that this is 0 0.5 there and 0 0.5 there. So those are my three missing sides, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 4.5. And you can go to your calculator and add up all of those different parts, and I'm pretty confident that you'll get 46, right? So it may take a little bit more time to do that, but realistically, not that much more time to feel confident in your answer. So whichever method gives you confidence that you've gotten it right, go ahead and use it.